WCM, as we've defined it, you know, traditionally, is just going through a tremendous amount of change. The context of which we held WCM is kind of exploding. It's not about you know creating, you know, publishing, you know, managing content anymore. It's going well beyond that. There's kind of a conversion between marketing automation, web content management, multi-channel delivery, um, uh, you know, back-end you know, ECM systems, uh, all of that's really coming to the fore right now. Web engagement management or pervasive engagement management, pervasive meaning you know, 24-7, always on, know where you are, know who you are. So if you, have a, if you see it as a strategy, you know, what's your, your multi-channel and multi-touch relationship with, you know, your, let's say, your customer or, or you know, whatever your goal is? Um, that you really need to think through. You have you know, system architects who'll come in and they'll, they'll, you know, you know, they'll architect your software or whatever. Let's say it's a WCM platform or engagement platform of some kind to kind of map to your, to your business. But what you're finding right now is the, the whole nature of what we do changes all the best practices in a business based upon what they're trying to achieve. So you need even someone a layer above that, which I like to call the engagement architect, who is looking at a company, bringing best practices. There's a lot of change management that has to happen now given all of these channels that marketers are expected to deliver out to or, or editorial folks. Um, someone really needs to think that through. Um, and that's really hard stuff to do because it can fundamentally change your business. I would look at you know SDL um, from from a very large aspect, and that includes you know language translation, technical you know uh, uh, technically enabled language translation. Um, we uh, have a whole structured content. Um, uh, division and that's delivering out content, especially around technical manuals. So, for example, if you are, um, uh, you know, working on a, a helicopter for the military and you're up in the Arctic and you're a mechanic working on a helicopter in the middle of the desert somewhere, the specs that you're going to adjust that helicopter are going to be different. So when you take out your pad or your enabled device and you start to look at the specs on how do I repair this thing, there, it has to be geo-targeted and specific to where you're, where you are. So that level of structuring is, and is really quite sophisticated, um, and that can go out to print, that can go out to web, that can go out to anything. SDL Tridian is the product name, but originally Tridian was a company acquired well over four years ago by SDL, um, and uh, you know I think that web content management is a is a key part of the platform, but then there are other areas that that really um, are kind of evolving into content management. We talked about targeting, profiling, personalization. We do have a product called Smart Target um, that does a lot of predictive targeting and really is great in driving both conversions around um, you know, retail or, or e-tail um, as well as providing you know, specific content to people based upon um, you know, who they are, what their needs are. We're more interested in selling a solution as opposed to a product, you know, or a Chinese menu. Um, you know, certainly there are core things like you know web content management, but a lot of this stuff, you know, is integrated and interchangeable. So it, it, it once again, the need or the desire or the goal of each customer is going to be different. What clearly differentiates us is our blueprinting technology. A lot of people use the word blueprinting. We've actually trademarked it. Blueprinting basically is lets you create a master blueprint if you're, you know, managing liter literally like hundreds of websites. HP is a, a customer of ours, so they manage over, I don't know, hundreds of websites, you know, like 60 different mobile channels, um, several different languages. Um, so how do you manage you know, all of that stuff? And it's, it's managed through the blueprinting technology, which basically takes content that's been modularized and allows you to set up uh, basically a schematic for you know, all the different channels you have, all the different websites you have, all the different languages that you have, um, and um, uh, you know, all the different brands that you have. So it's a great tool not only for, for 
channel management, but for global brand management. So if you want to change your brand you know, overnight, you can do it. Do it as the top player and it trickles down and everything changes. You know, if you have a certain form factor that you're delivering to, you know, it will allow for that. And also, if you wanted to add a new channel or add a new language, add a new website, uh, add a new mobile channel, it's very easy to add that to the, the whole blueprinting um, uh, effort.